In this video, we're going to be looking at a tool that is able to create viral thumbnails either by creating them from a simple prompt or by replicating them from some of the biggest creators such as Mr. Beast and anyone else like that. And then it also has a tool where you're able to take your face from a photo and then put it onto that AI thumbnail, taking into account there's a person on there and you can then play around and again, prompt it to change the thumbnail. The name of the tool is called Pixels. Now, as you can see right here, it says you can create viral thumbnails and titles in seconds. And if you look at the top, this is the home screen. It gives you some details, some advertising stuff, and basically just showing you what it can do. And you get the opportunity to try it for free. The features right here, discover content ideas. And at the point of filming this, this is something they were releasing soon. So I haven't got to play around with this as of yet in the sense of creating titles for the thumbnail as well, but it's interesting. And then if you go across here to pricing, this now is you both have annually and monthly. So annually, it is $28 a month. And you can see sort of what you get here, the 18,000 credits, works in any language and sorts of other different things like that. But the other one is the monthly and it's $40 a month, which I think is borderline on the higher end that I can see why this could be something that could be worth the money. Seeing as like there's the famous Mr. Beast clip. I don't know if it's famous, but I know it went viral when I saw it and it said, how much do you charge or how much do you pay per thumbnail? And don't quote me on it, but I think something up to like $5,000 or something. We probably spend around five to $10,000 a thumbnail. Just make wow. sure we get the right image and it's good because like the thumbnail makes a difference between 50 million views or 200 million so and how many uh, thumbnails per episode or per uh, around three now you have two ways of using this think of this like mid journey mid journey now has its own website where you can operate within that create the images within that but originally when it first came out you had to operate with it through discord so if you come onto discord first off you'll see here you have free trials on the free trials this is where you can create all of the sort of thumbnails and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting. But what I'm gonna do instead is use it on their website because this is quite clunky. Though you can use it, you can put in forward slash and then you get all your different ones, face swap, format, model. It's just a little bit clunky and it's not what I like to use it as. So again, that's where we're gonna go to the second way. And in my opinion, the better way, this is where you interact with it. And as you can see down here, you have all of your sort of different prompts and ones where you've created different thumbnails. So again, just so you can have a look, I don't know what I did here. Yeah, just playing around with it, you can see that. And if you want a new one, then you press new chat and this is your screen. The amount of credits you have. So if you have a premium one, you have 1000 credits, you can quickly top them up as well. But supposedly with 1000 credits, you are able to generate around 75 thumbnails. Now you're not probably gonna make 75 thumbnails in one month, but I found playing around with it, a lot of them went very fast, specifically trying to prompt it to get the right results. Here as well, just to show you the layout quickly, you have thumbnail, recreate and face swap. And I'm gonna go through all of these separate but a thumbnail is if you just want to create a thumbnail from scratch recreate is if you want to recreate a viral thumbnail and put your own sort of twist on it but you use someone else's thumbnail as the foundation starting place now you could say that's copying you could say that's stealing you could say many different things and that is down to you i'm not going to be here to judge you use it don't use it it's your own judgment call but the tools here i'm going to show you how to use it so that's down to you the third one is face swap we'll also have a quick look at that as well this is something that i've generated right now and then if you come down to here where it says account under model, it has three or two different versions and auto. Now, really, I've tried both of these. Now, unless I'm doing something wrong, I couldn't really tell a big difference between the two. So I personally have left it on auto. But if I am missing something or it's a big difference between one and two, I just, again, leave it on auto. And then format, you have the option to make long form or short form, and that would be portrait or long form would be normal YouTube videos like that. I'm not gonna read through all of it, pause it, read through it, but the gist of it is a high energy and it's inspired by Mr. Beast. Uh, high energy, vibrant thumbnail featuring a person with a shocked face, you know, massive pile of cash, luxury cars, use bold glowing outlines around the main subject, bold colorful fonts to say that something like you won't believe this or I gave away one million dollars pretty descriptive gives a good foundation starting point and let's have a look what it creates straight away I actually <laughs> That's actually pretty cool, I have to say. So straight away, it's created this right here. And this is the result. 
and I actually am pretty impressed. Dynamic face, shock face, the money, the fast cars, very clickable, create intrigue. And I actually quite like that. So what you could do right now, you've got a few different things. You can straight up download it. So you just download it, it's good to go. You can redo it. So it basically regenerates it using the same prompt. And uh, yeah, so that's what it would do. I'll save that because I don't want to use all the credits. The edit it, you can literally put on there edit it we'll have a look at that or you could do a face swap so you could then apply your face to that so again if we put in edit and we could just say add in text i gave away one million dollars nothing more than that and let's see how it interprets it and maybe we're good to go wow no that's worse so i have no idea what it's done here uh but again i gave away one million dollars i guxed aware of what how the hell would you say that there you go so that didn't go to plan but again interesting so now we're going to go on to recreate and we've got a couple different examples what we're going to do with this the first one is we're going to use a mr beast replication okay this one right here in 10 minutes this room will explode interesting single face keeps it a little bit easier and we don't want to over confuse it and i don't know maybe it works with many different faces as well i haven't had as much time to play around with everything so this is what you're going to do go and copy the video and then you want to go back into here and this is link a thumbnail or a youtube video link to a thumbnail or youtube video paste that in there we go or you can upload a thumbnail as well and then this is where you have now your inspiration the inspiration weight is basically how similar do you want it to be if you put it on high it will be very similar to the thumbnail that you want very similar medium it will be semi-similar semi ai interpreted or on the low end the ai will interpret it and do its own sort of thing to it and if you wanted to add any changes that you would like to make you can do that but personally after playing around with this i found it's better to make the changes after you've created the thumbnail because this just does some weird funky stuff and let's just do hi first off and see what we get <laughs> that is actually i have to say is it okay the hands are strange uh a little bit but aside from the hands the that is actually very very good then if you wanted to have a look at the medium equivalent of that we can have a look i think every time you do this it costs 10 credits as well but it doesn't always update it up there so you sometimes have to refresh your screen a little bit funky with the hands the tape i'm not really sure rope going around going through but again still passable i don't think it's bad it definitely catches the eye and i think yeah overall it's good so that's a nice happy medium let's have a look at the low one actually i think it's actually pretty good <laughs> I have to say it is actually pretty nice. So if you wanted to now, let's say edit this and let's just say, make the person black slash mixed race because I want to put my face on there. So I want to make it look like me. <laughs> wow, what is that? <laughs> I mean, I guess he's got uh, dreadlocks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that, let's roll with that. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the face swap. I don't know if any of you know this, but I used to ha have dreadlocks back in my mid twenties for a phase. There you go, there's me. I believe I'm in Brunei here on a beach at sunset. Yes, I am with my dreadlocks, looking happy, enjoying life. We're gonna use this as my uh, inspiration. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's changed my, why has it changed my hairstyle? <laughs> if you're watching this video and you think where did i get the thumbnail from maybe it was from this maybe i will use this thumbnail <laughs> uh we're gonna go to new chat we're gonna go to recreate and then we've done our mr beast one now this one is from think media and i like this because it's a very easy thumbnail and i think it grabs your attention it's very minimalist so again same sort of thing share copy paste in our thumbnail we're going to keep it on let's go high we're not going to change anything and we're going to press generate Ew, that's interesting easy thumbnail at least you got the writing correct and we're just going to change the face and that's it and for this one i'm going to try and use a better image so uh, it actually just applies the face with the hat and i don't know what's going on with the guy's side of the face though he's like like a extra head on his head let's uh let's see if the face swap works um god awful actually uh the face transition i mean let's just say let's see if we can recreate it or redo but for this one uh oh no redo let's see what happens with the redo first and then if it doesn't work we can change it and press edit and see what it does nah, that's not bad but not what i'm looking for is the face better on that though the face the jawline looks a bit better actually it doesn't look like you've got an extra head growing now we're going to press edit i'm going to put Make the man mixed 
race and without glasses and then hopefully it does something that I can use to then put my face on it and then call it amazing thumbnail and go with that. No, that's just done absolutely nothing. So that is a quick tutorial, playing around with it, having a look at it. Do I think it's fun to play around with? Yes. Do I think it's worth 40 US dollars a month? Not sure. If you can get it for $1 via the way that I did to play around with it, it's $1. I think yes, definitely for $1. And I say that because then depending on your use case scenario, your workflow and how many videos you're making, do you love making thumbnails? Maybe you hate them, but you have an easy way of doing it. I really don't know. Everyone has their own way for thumbnails, but it has a use case scenario. I like the fact of just being able to put in a prompt and you have a good base layer that you can play around with it. And then I think it does replicate it pretty well. I like then you have the nice medium, low, high sort of things that you can play around with to see how much you want it to be like the thumbnail you're trying to replicate or a very loose interpretation or the medium which is a nice medium and i think if you play around with it it's good so is it worth 40 dollars a month to me at this current moment playing around with it i wouldn't pay 40 dollars a month for it because i have my own workflow which works for me and it's a lot cheaper and it doesn't take me as much time all the time to get it done maybe i would use it at other times in the future but i don't want to pay 40 dollars for it at the minute but again some other people will as an overall tool do i think it's got good potential absolutely it's the best one that i've seen as of yet in terms of something that makes decent very good thumbnails let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye